latest on May 31st around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. As we enter the eve of Atlantic hurricane season, there are still no named storms active around the globe at this time. It's May 31st, there's 26 storms so far on the books for this year, and we've been waiting for a little while now for number 27. However, there are two invests active at the moment. None of them are in the Atlantic, however. The season starts tomorrow, ends on November 30th, as we all know. In the Eastern Pacific, Invest 92E is currently located just off the coast of eastern Mexico. It's day 17 in that basin. In the Arabian Sea, Invest 92A has formed on the Horn of Africa um, and is likely to move towards the west. No storms are active in the Southern Hemisphere, although the first of our 2018-19 seasons will be released to the public on Friday night, Saturday morning. Invest 92E is located off the coast of Chiapas in Mexico, 153 miles from Tapachula, near the border with Guatemala, 14.5 north, 94.5 west. We expect it to move possibly in a northerly direction now, inland over the continent there, and then possibly winding up just about in the Atlantic, but it will be gone by then. Here's some satellite imagery uh, coupled with the wind shear uh, polygons there, the graphics. Um, 5 to 10 knots of wind shear at this time which is allowing for this system to produce a little bit more convection and possibly maybe just about start to get a little bit of a circulation going but it's too little too late for this system near 0% chance of development according to the National Hurricane Center. Satellite imagery looks like this. You can just about see 92E on the very left-hand edge of this image. The Atlantic itself is pretty quiet. Uh, all of those thunderstorms that are in the Caribbean really dissipating in those um, latest hours on that imagery there as we continue to look through. The rest of the basin is very quiet. The Gulf of Mexico imagery is clearly broken because we're not seeing anything on this view. Excellent. In the eastern Pacific, it's fairly quiet at this time still. Of course, as you'd expect, out over the open waters, it will be remaining very quiet for a little bit longer, at least um, until we start to see some proper storms form in the basin. Uh, running a bit later than what might have been considered normal in the last few years, although it's by the grand scheme of things, it's not too abnormal. In the western Pacific, things also very quiet here. There's hardly anything on the screen at all in terms of disturbed weather. A few thunderstorms here and there around the central region of the Philippines and one just south of Hainan Island. In the Australian and South Pacific region, things are pretty quiet here as well. A few thunderstorms blowing up there over Papua New Guinea and eastern Indonesia. And in the Indian Ocean, you can see that Invest on the left-hand side, Invest 92A, uh, that has just been designated earlier today uh, and that is quite clearly moving towards the west. Sea surface temperatures around the globe right now, 30 degrees still where Invest 92E is. Uh, that was certainly never an issue for the system when it was trying to develop. Uh, and it's still pretty warm in the Atlantic as well into the Caribbean, 28 degrees or so generally, and it will continue to warm up. The North Indian Ocean is very warm, 30 degrees and maybe even 31 in some areas very close to Invest 92A. And out there in the Western Pacific, uh, pretty warm as well, 30 degrees in the Philippine Sea and the South China Sea. Um, one or two hints from long-term model runs that there might be something forming in the uh, Bay of Bengal next week. We'll keep watching that. This is a close-up of Invest 92E right now, and you can see again some of that convection blowing up in those later frames there. Um, if it had a center, it would clearly be off the coast, um, and I imagine more thunderstorms will start to appear on the coast. There already are some there on that imagery, but maybe more later on. Invest 92A looks like this, not quite as good satellite imagery. It is infrared as well because it is uh, overnight hours. Uh, but you can see what's going on here, a lot of the convection displaced to the south and a potential center of circulation forming right on the tip there of Somalia. Uh, continuing to move towards the west and has a tiny chance of formation in the Gulf of Aden. Uh, in the Atlantic, we've already had Andrea, if you missed it. Barry is the next name on the list. In the Eastern Pacific, Alvin is still yet to arrive. And in the Central Pacific, Akoni is the next name. Out in the Western Pacific, the next name on the list is Sepat. And in the North Indian Ocean, it's Vayu. 
You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page if you're not there already, please subscribe and hopefully you enjoy all the other videos that we produce on there, and you can also find Force 13 on Facebook and Twitter. The next name in Australia is Blake, and the next name in the Fiji region is Rita, but I think the Southern Hemisphere is long done for now, and we'll see you again June the 1st tomorrow with another Tropical Weather Bulletin. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.